Hey there friends and enemies, Joe Perry here again, and today we finally have a viable melee build for the Pyromancer in Outriders World Slayer. If you didn't know, a brand new armor set was released called Scorch Zealot, which does the Pyromancer melee skill fires a projectile that explodes upon impact, dealing damage and inflicting ash. You can do millions of damage with this. It stacks with a bunch of buffs, really crazy. Damage of the projectile increases by 25% for each enemy hit with Feed the Flames. I haven't used Feed the Flames for any of my builds previously with the Pyromancer, so I'm excited to try this and move my builds in a new direction, something that I haven't seen a lot of other people use and something that I'm excited to try out myself. So, jumping into skills, we're using Volcanic Rounds. This one might be swapped out eventually, depending on how... I really make my builds. I do like the way it interacts with everything right now with some of my guns. So I'm going to explain that in a little bit. So I like having this as an option and inflicting burn on various enemies, which is nice. We got Feed the Flames. This is going to be key to buffing your melee. And this is something that is also going to be very massive for healing yourself within this build. We've also got Ash Blast, and this is because I'm just doing as much Ash around me as possible. I'm freezing enemies with this, so it works out really, really well together. And it allows me to kind of double dip when I'm upgrading some of my skills in the class tree. I go with Infernal Weapon, Marble Orchard, Mark of the Anomaly, Assault Master. Now, I'm using ARs, LMGs, double guns primarily, and then maybe SMGs in the future. So... Um, trial of the ashes again everything i get is going to be enemies afflicted by ash receive more damage and that's really going to buff my melee as well as my shots from my weapon uh we're going to do another mark on the anomaly there hot situation again this is why i went with ash blast so that way all these skills are regening really really quickly and i really like that conflagration we've got curse of the pompeii mark of the anomaly inferno weapon mark of the anomaly Moss of the Flame, and then Leeching Force. So Weapon Leech is going to be really buffed here, which is good. That's another way to heal if I need it. Uh, ashes to Ashes is actually the one that you really want. You could skip this these up here and go in another direction if you want to. But this right here is huge every time Ash is inflicted to an enemy. Vulnerable status is inflicted as well, so you're debuffing enemies at the same time. Uh, Nimble as Flame, Hurt Twice as Long. We got Trial of the Ashes again, more Ash damage, uh, Mark Bull Orkin again, and then Burning Situation. So really, I'm leaning into those skills as much as possible, creating some Ash effects and diving into that as much as possible. Pax Tree, we're looking at coming in hot. Ash and Wake, again, Ash damage as much as possible. Hot Streak, Critical Shots, uh, buff you there, and then Carbonization. And finally, Carbon Footprint. Again, really focusing on Ash Blast and Feed the Frames as uh, as far as my abilities. However, they are there just to help buff my melee damage as well as do some additional assistance with regards to my weapon damage as well. So, going through my mods, I'm going to show you. So, I've got Ash and Bloom. This actually came on this. Purity at the bottom here is one that I could get a bit better. I could also... Uh, change up my uh, skills that i get on this as well the buffs but i also have anomaly echo so those are pretty good ash and bloom in particular um is really nice especially creating little aoe effects and inflicting more ash then we've got brawl boost your melee skill damage by 100 percent. huge absolutely necessary if you're making this build throw this on 100 percent. ash and boost boost your damage against enemies inflicted by ash by 12 percent again Increases effectiveness and weaknesses by 20%. That's another one where I wish it was a better skill in the uh, Apocalypse slot there. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Again, this one I don't have Apocalypse. That's a bit of a bummer. So this will be better once I get another slot there as well. But again, we got Cauterizing Flames. Every percent of overheal gain through the skill increases your bonus firepower by 1% for up to 50%. And then Shock and Awe, when an enemy hits you with a melee attack, every target within five meter radius is stuck by anomaly lightning so that's good when you're getting swarmed we've got ash cleaner again more damage against ash enemies we've got bullet kindling this is just to work with the volatile rounds not as necessary i could swap that out but i, I put on ash cleaner instead of the other mod there so i'm still looking to improve that ultimate paragon increase paragon increase your armor by 
a bunch for each ally in close range. I've been running a lot of co-op, so that's nice. But again, this is another one that I could probably replace. And then finally, my boots, Fiends of Flames, enables absorption of one additional target. This is actually really important when you look at this and it increases damage of the projectile and increases by 25% uh, for each enemy hit. So that actually will make that much, much easier. And then even odds increase your max health by 10% for each enemy within 10 meters. So there's a couple uh, benefits that I could get from better armors here. But I really was looking at the best armors that I have currently. And so this can be improved. So this build isn't even as cracked as it can be. And it's absolutely been melting through everything I've been having so much success with this build that it's unbelievable as far as the weapons i'm running a time ripper this one uh shots inflict slow which is nice slow enemies down but the second one using your melee skill charges your weapon with an anomaly shockwave that pierces cover and deals a bunch of damage this is nice because you're obviously using your melee as often as possible that's absolutely huge and i think it's one that i would highly recommend you trying out now we've got Damascus Offer, and this is probably the best weapon that I've got so far of the new weapons. And uh, it's got uh, Claymore Torrent, shots deal of damage for enemies within a, four, a six meter radius with Anomaly Blades, and then receive a passive firepower boost equal to 40% of your Anomaly. So again, it's kind of double dipping on why I have a little bit higher Anomaly than just going pure firepower with this build. So my Feed the Flames can be fairly strong. I can use uh, Ash Blast and uh, Volatile Rounds, but also I'm getting an increased bonus there for damage, which is nice. And then Slashing Twister, successful shots, create a tornado that lasts six seconds and deals a bunch of damage. So this one actually, the claymore turret and the slashing twister kind of work together to just do constant aoe damage which is nice and then this one is not really necessary to disintegrate i don't use this often i pretty much never use my sidearms with this build or any of my pyromancer builds so it's not really gonna go into that it's just a good gun to have overall especially if you start to look at melee builds so definitely keep an eye out for that anyway that is going to summarize my build i hope that you guys enjoy this build as much as I have. It is tremendous. I've been running it through the trials of Target Guitar regularly, and it is my favorite build that I made so far. I've seen a lot of other people focus on other builds. I've seen a popcorn build with your um, thermal bombs. I've seen phaser beam builds, but I have not seen a melee build, and that's what I've been waiting for for so long. If you know me, I'm a longtime Destiny player. I love melee abilities. I've been playing a lot of other games where I like to get up close and personal and do my melee. And just the, the different visualization, the uh, effect that you do when you use the melee is actually really nice as well so this, this is really effective it's something that i would highly recommend you try this out is this going to be the most op build that you've ever played maybe not but is it going to be the most fun build you've ever tried i think so personally and i think you will if you give it a chance anyway i hope you enjoyed the video my name is jopa hit that like button if you did enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Helps me out tremendously because it shows you want to see more Outriders and other kinds of content from me on this going forward. I hope you have a good one and I'll catch you all later.